they are important figures of prophets who mark the time of Advent, such as those of Isaiah and John the Baptist. The image of the prophet John the Baptist, of the one who cries in the desert, who calls for conversion, is the image of a prophet not listened to. The word he proclaims, this word of God, resonates in deserted places, in empty places. It is a painful experience that the prophet goes through, an experience shared by the psalmist in these terms. Oh, if my people listened to me, if Israel walked in my ways, even by the prophet, by excellence, Jesus Christ, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, who kills the prophet and stone those who are sent to you. How often have I wanted to gather your children together as a hen gathers her chicks under her wings and you didn't want it. The refusal to hear the word of God is a huge challenge for our society today. Man is in the search of words that comfort him in his apprehensions than words that shake him up and above all call and challenge him to sometimes radical change. St. Paul's prophecy in this sense is fully realized today when he said there will come a time when men will no longer want to know anything about authentic teaching under the influence of their desires and to satisfy their lust, they will choose a crowd of masters. They will run from doctrine to doctrine according to their fancy, having the itch to hear words that pleasantly tickle their ears. They will increasingly turn away from the truth and fall back on myth. Unfortunately, our society is infested with pseudo prophets who have become champions of all kinds of excesses, ranging from homosexuality to lesbianism to strangerism. Without forgetting these prophets of doom who provide an environment of fear, bringing Satan everywhere with the sole aim of controlling, dominating, and mystifying in lies the men and women under their control. He are the most listened to and most adored prophet of our time. This traumatic choice of man leads to the downfall of our society. What is this society that no longer has a reference point, that no longer has a voice that whispers in the ear of conscience to consciently remind it of its major role, which not only is to discern good from evil, but also, and above all, to make the radical choice of good. The big tragedy of, of our current humanity is that the true prophets have remained silent, either because they continue to be killed or because they have come to cowardly. The truth is that people are no longer looking to convert, they are looking to be entertained. <laughs>